Okay, so one of these has literally just happened to me. Someone just said one of these things to me and I was like, how can I get this off my chest? And I thought, I've got a YouTube channel. We can talk about it. Let's go. Simon Miller, the bald asshole here. And that's right. That's right. I was out and about, which was obviously a rarity at the moment, given all things that are going down. And somebody still had the audacity to whisper words into my face that I did not appreciate it. Now, I'm going to say this a bit quietly because obviously I'm recording this in my house. It was someone that lives in my residential area. I don't even know this person. I've maybe spied them. I've been here a few years. I've maybe spied them a couple of times and they still felt the need to do this to me. And I was like, ha ha, I have a YouTube channel. So in the most pointless and in the most I got, immature way possible, I am going to respond with seven things you never say to somebody that lifts weights. And number seven, here it is. You do not go up to someone and go, well, what is that you're eating? It doesn't look very nice. This is what happened to me. This is what happened. I just decided, actually, to be fair, it didn't happen today. It's happened a couple of days ago, but you know, that doesn't fit my narrative. So there I was in my sort of, I have like this little, it's not really a garden. It's like a square. <laughs> I have a square outside and it was a nice day and I thought I haven't got my vitamin D because of course we're all locked in our houses uh, depending on where you are so I'm gonna go eat some of my eat some of my food in my square right <laughs> that's what I was gonna do and it wasn't even that weird of a meal it was just some chicken and it was just some greens and the thing that they took particular offense to is I have that powdered PD uh, pe peanut butter stuff with it right I have that with it and yeah I mean, it, it, it kind of looks like peanut butter that's malformed a little bit, but I wouldn't even spy this. And somebody saw me doing this, because again, the square, the square is protected, but you can see people in the square. And they came up, what is that you're eating? Excuse me, what? Do I come up? Excuse me, let me see your dinner. Oh, disgusting. Oh, pizza, processed food, sugars, fat, fat, fat. No, I don't, because I don't give two hoots. Don't ask people or question what they're eating. And it's bad on both sides. It really is. If you're a health nerd and you go and tell someone that's not that they're disgusting and overweight, that just makes you an asshole. And it's the same the other way around. If you go up to someone and go, oh, you're eating healthy again, are you? Wasting your life. That's the other thing. This happened to me years ago, right? I was what? About 16, 17. I'm a bit older than that. Probably 18, 19. I don't know. And I was before university. What are we talking about? 17. I was 17 years old. And I, I remember this person's name. And I haven't chatted to this person in like what? A long time, over a decade. But I won't mention her name. That's not fair. But I remember her saying to me, because I don't drink, right? And I don't. And one of the reasons I started not drinking was because I love weightlifting so much. I thought, oh, I think I'd rather try and get the benefits of that. And also, I got drunk once in my life and didn't like it at all. We've done a video. She said to me, Simon, I think when you're older, you're going, this is how she talked, you're going to look back and really regret not these opportunities of getting wasted with your friends you didn't took. And I was, yeah, I was young then. So a small part of me, like 2%, was like, oh, man, maybe they're going to be right. Incorrect. Incorrect. Never regretted that. Never regretted that either. And also, why are you telling me this? You may as well come up to me and go, and spat right in my face. That's the equivalent because you're not thinking straight. Also, this is neither here nor there, but her last name was also a swear word. So jokes on her. Number six, this pertains obviously more to the women that lift weights, but it's, it happens and it blows my mind that it even does. You'll get a lady or a woman, a female, whatever, that lifts weights, right? Lifts weights, gets in great shape, fair play, jacked. Some of those crossfeet people. Or Matt will go watch any kind of bodybuilding, bikini uh, or fitness models. Absolutely incredible. And somebody who is not in shape, by the way, never in shape, which makes it even worse. You don't have to be in shape. I really don't care. But it just, it moves the, uh, it changes the balance. Goes, well, you look like a man. How dare you? How dare you say anything like that to anybody? One, let's say they do look like a man. All right, that's their choice. Two, we have to break out. I know, I'm getting hippy trippy. But we have to get out of this idea that men, big muscle, small women, small and lean. No, that's not how it works. You pick what kind of physique you want and you get backed up for that. For example, if you are a rower, a female rower, you better have some big flipping arms and shoulders. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to. You're going to have to. Some people just have better genetics for that. But if that's what you want to do, and that's what you want to do, it has nothing to do with masculinity or femininity. It's about what you've chosen to do in life. How crap would it be? Like, imagine, right, you're, you're a man out there right now. Let's say that you're the man that has said this. You're not, because I think most people that watch my videos are quite nice. We'll call this person. I need to think of a name that nobody recalls so nobody gets insulted. Floor guy. <laughs> you are floor guy. And you have gone up to a lady and said that. This also means that you now have to go and get really jacked. This is your own logic. 
Because you're pertaining to stereotypes. Therefore, if women need to be light and lean, you need to be big and jacked. Well, you're not big and jacked right now, so you're failing as well. Just let people live their flipping lives. Number five, only happened to me a few times, is, oh, I ate that food that was in the fridge that was yours and you were probably planning to eat. Bodybuilders, weightlifters, fitness guys know what they're going to consume on most days. Obviously, things change the second they wake up. If your alarm goes off at 6 a.m., you know what you're having for meal one, meal two, meal three, meal four, meal five, meal six, post-workout, snack, snack, snack. You know it all. You've worked it all out because we're all crazy people and have a bad relationship with food, but we couldn't give two hoots. If somebody then eats the food in the fridge, what are you meant to do? Now, this is more for people that work in an office, but somebody once did that. Well, it was, it, was some, it was definitely chicken again. I think it was chicken and pasta or something like that, and they had just eaten it, thinking it was theirs. No, you didn't, because mine was way down to the ground. I knew everything that was in that damn bowl. I'd probably even put Simon on it because I'm a pedantic son of a gun. Don't say, you shouldn't say that to anybody. Eating somebody else's food regardless is bad, but I will get on my ivory tower and say that it's even worse when someone is being that finickety and that for anal about calories because then what are they going to do? They have to walk, oh, then we get back to the video we did before. Then you have to wander out there and get sandwich. Oh, and then <laughs> get beaten up for having a sandwich. Don't eat people's food unless it's been offered to you. That's just manners. Number four, we kind of touched on this one, but we have to go over it again, is you don't look like you lift weights. You may, Again, you may as well just kick somebody in the groin. You really, really do, because 99% of people that are going to the gym are busting their ass, they're eating right, they're trying to, they're trying to do what they can. I get it sometimes in my comments. Like, why are you talking about fitness videos? You don't look very good. All right, okay, I'm doing my best, okay? I ain't doing this for you, jackass. I'm doing it because I like going to the gym. And I make the videos because I started enjoying them, and it seems to be there's a little bit of engagement there, and it's a great feeling, and I love it. But what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, how do you want me to change? What vision of the gym would you like me to transform into so it befits the visual you have in your head? It's just an unfair thing to say because it's going to make you feel crap. You're going to lose all of your confidence. It, you, maybe you'll lose your motivation and you have to reset. It goes the other way too. If somebody told you they were trying to lose weight, you don't go, well, you haven't looked like you're trying to lose any weight. It's the worst thing you can say to someone. And most of these are just don't be a rude dick. Most don't be a rude dick. I should have called it that, but I won't. It just, I've had people say this to me before and it really, really is bothersome because even people that have a lot of self-confidence or a lot of self-worth, not saying that I have, I'm just sort of like everybody else. I have good days, I have bad days, but that is always going to get to you. It just is. It's not fair. It's like, it's like the YouTube comment thing, right? 10 YouTube comments, nine say, Simon, you're the best. Oh man, you're amazing. One says, Simon, you're a bald idiot and I hate you and I want you to die. You're like, why do they want me to die? And you ignore the other ones because the brain's a funny thing. It's another no. Number three is a strange one. I have had this a couple of times too. They say, you're only as fit as you are because you go to the gym so much. And you're like, yes, what are you, how do I even respond? You only went to Jamaica on holiday because you went to Jamaica on holiday. Like, yeah, you're just throwing statements at me. And of course, this is somebody reflecting their own insecurities onto you. They're like, well, if I went to the gym all the time, I'd be that fit. But the answer there is yes. This is just you insulting yourself. It's, it's like if you spend a hundred pounds on a, a TV, then yes, you spent a hundred pounds on a TV. That's just a, a statement of fact. And the statement of fact is the more you go to the gym, as long as you're doing everything else right, the fitter you're going to be. What Again, what are you trying to achieve with that statement? And I know what it is. You're trying to uh, negate somebody else's achievements. But unless, look, there are people that walk around and are like, oh, look at me, look at me. I want Those guys can go in the bin too, right? I'm not into that at all. But someone that is just trying to get on and just enjoys all of this and it's their passion, for you to do that makes you a twonk. Number two is, well, I would lift, but I don't want to get massive. You think it's that easy, Poindexter? You think I wouldn't be three times the size as I am now if it was just about lifting heavy or getting bulky? I mean, that goes down to the gym miss video that we did. People still think this. They still think this. They think they start going to the gym. Within a week, they're going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's, it's insulting. Like, we are not putting in enough work to get to that size. But if they do it, they're going to be Mr. Olympia in a few years. Again, I would love it if it was true. I would love it if the gym was just the more you do it, the bigger you get. And the more you eat, the bigger you get. And your body just sorts it out. That's, and that will be true for some people. But other people that it's not. Other people need to keep their fats low. Other people need to watch out for carbs. Sometimes it's all about calories. You know, there's always going to be little things that are going to be different to your body. I've said this before. I can't drink that much caffeine. I break out in spots. Same with... Um, 
uh, what do you call it? Fake sugars, sweeteners. That's just what my body does. Why? But it doesn't do it to you. It probably ties into cortisol levels and blah, blah, blah. But there's no point me sitting here saying, well, you shouldn't do this because you're going to get spots because you probably won't. Or maybe you will. Or maybe you'll be somewhere in between. But there is no such thing as, well, if I went to the gym, I'd be massive. Shut up. Number one. This is the one. The one that always gets me. Well, I'd like to look like you, ellipses, but bigger. That's what you've done. <laughs> That's what you've just done. You have taken all my hard work and you have flushed it down the toilet. Like, again, I, I'm well aware that I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm not the most ripped guy in the world. As some people tell me, I don't even look like I lift weights. Okay, cool, whatever. But as I already mentioned, I'm doing what I can. I have a goal. I'm chasing the dangling carrot. Hopefully, I will see progression and evolution and all these little things. And for you to say that as if that I'm just not trying hard enough and that if you did it, you, it's, just, it's just the worst. And again, I know what people are saying. But I would like to be bigger. Yes. Would I like to be two stone bigger with 7% body fat? Oh, what a dream. I'd also like to be taller. I'm 6'1". I'd love to be 6'4". All of these things would be wonderful, but they're not true. That is a backhanded insult. It's like, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to be not as fat as you is basically what you're saying. And if you said that to someone, everybody in that room would go, oh, it's disgusting. You are terrible. You'd be banned. You'd have no friends. You'd be kicked out of your friendship group. But for some reason, in the fitness weightlifting world, we're just allowed to have all these barbs thrown at us and we're just meant to accept it. Well, I accept no more, which is not true because did I say anything to that guy? No. I came in here and made a video instead, which means I'm the moron. Thank you for letting me get that off my chest now. I feel so much better, which is good. Like the video, share the video, smash the subscribe button. Patreon.com forward slash Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316 if you want to keep up that way. Um, and yeah, make sure you do subscribe because YouTube's freaking out at the moment. I just lost 500 subscribers from nowhere. I looked on the internet. Apparently, it's just a thing. But that's, that's bad. That's bad for your mental health when you're trying with something. Either way, see you soon.